new and modern Warsaw, the capital of Poland, a country whose eventful history was influenced by many nationalities and faiths. Based on the principle of tolerance, this multinational first Polish Commonwealth protected the country from the ravages of religious wars, and it was this multinational Poland that became the safe haven for Europe's Jews. The 20th century. It was a century in which European nationalism turned into aggressive chauvinism. It was Poland that was chosen by the Nazis to be the site of the horrific catastrophe of the Shoah. For 700 years, Jews grew to be attached to this land, to this country, to its life, development, and fate. It was a country that was not always easy to live in, but the Union was for good or bad. Since the fall of communism in 1989, there is an unabated interest in Jewish history and culture in an independent and democratic Poland. The Irina Sendler story. Few had heard of Irina Sendler till 1999. It was a group of students from rural Kansas who discovered this Catholic woman who saved 2,500 Jewish children from the Warsaw Ghetto. It's so important not to stop, but to continue. The Memorial of Ghetto Heroes. Located in the center of the former ghetto, this will be a place of an unprecedented project in Central Europe, a museum dedicated to the history of Polish Jews. Here, the virtual journey through time will delve the visitor into the rich Jewish past. Still, nothing can be more vivid than the remaining traces of the ghetto wall. For almost half a million Jews, it was a proverbial road to hell. In 1941 alone, Nearly 100,000 people died of starvation and disease there. On April 19, 1943, several hundred lightly armed Jewish fighters started the ghetto uprising. The Nazis were surprised by the bravery with which the young men and women fought. In retaliation, they burned down the entire housing blocks. Captured Jews were executed on the spot or led for final deportation to the Umschlagplatz. Auschwitz has become a symbol of terror and genocide. Some one and a half million people of 28 nationalities died here. Where the Nazis carried out the first experiment using Zylon B and where they murdered the first mass transport of Jews, built the first crematorium, where they conducted the first criminal experiments on prisoners, and where they carried out executions by shooting. Auschwitz-Birkenau. This single rail led over one million European Jews to death. One of the last transports of Jews to perish here came from the ghetto in Lodz. Lodz, located in central Poland, held the second largest Jewish community in Europe. It was here where the Industrial Revolution in Poland started. It was here that all different social groups were struggling to build a better life, or even write poems like Julian Tuin. Legend has it that touching his nose will bring you good fortune. Lublin. Historians repeatedly refer to Lublin as the Polish Jerusalem, a place which contributed to the advent of Judaic thought. 
Jews had always constituted a significant portion of Lublin's inhabitants. The Jewish intelligentsia also grew in power. Shiroka Street was the center of Lublin Hasidism at the end of the 18th century. Yaakov Yitzhak, known as the seer of Lublin and as the father of Hasidism, established his own court here. Although the eminent author Isaac Bashiva Singer did not have any family ties with this city, he makes many references to it in his novel, The Magician of Lublin. Isaac Lieb Peretz, called the father of modern Jewish literature, lived here. So did Sholem Ash, the author of A Shuttle. Jewish Trail ends at Grodzka Gate, which separated the Christian part of the town from the Jewish quarter. Krakow, a city of reflection and creation. A city of learning and tolerance, with coexisting diverse cultures. Everything here is on an intimate scale. Here is where the world-famous cabaret, Cellar Under the Rams, is located. Shiroka Street. Barely 70 years have passed since this was the core of the Jewish Kezhimirs, a community whose absence can still be felt. It is the heart of what was once Europe's most thriving center for Jewish life and culture. The old synagogue built in the 15th century, is the oldest synagogue that remains standing in Poland. About 70,000 of Krakow's residents were Jews. The quarter's rejuvenation started in the late 1980s. Swiftly, dramatic changes have taken hold of the neighborhood. But for all of the economical and physical improvements, for some, it was becoming a different place with a different look. Others see it as a sign of respect for Jewish memory. In 1989, Janusz Maku, a non-Jewish Pole, organized the first Jewish culture festival, which became one of the largest cultural festivals in the world. This year, over 100 events, attracting about 50,000 participants, according to Maku, the festival is a celebration of life. Yes, we organize in the shadow of Auschwitz. And I still remember, and will remember until the end of my days what happened in my land. I also know that life always conquers death. This is the silence that they thought would never once see life, that these walls would never once hear the sounds of Jewish song. Never say that you have walked the final way. No flattened skies obscure the light of day. The hour we long for will finally appear, and our steps will proclaim we are still here. 